Hello and welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Today I'm going to show you my Navy career in just under five minutes, so let's get started. I started my career off at the Recruit Training Command at Orlando, Florida. And here's a photo of Seaman Recruit Hatmaker way back then. I became an aviation machinist mate, went to A school in Millington. We worked on F4s there. This is my class photo and I'm just below the intake. My very first command, VA-46, flying A7s out of Cecilfield, Florida. This is one of the models I've built. This is me when I was frocked to a third class petty officer and I was a plane captain, got my name on the door, 83 hat maker. I would launch and recover the aircraft, do the inspections, fuel on the flight line and on the flight deck of the aircraft carriers. This is me doing a final check under the nose. My next command, NES Oceana of AIMD, where we worked on TF-30s. My follow-on command to that was VF-103, the sluggers out of NES Oceana. And that's me on the left over under 201. We introduced the FLIR to the Tomcat community while I was there. We also became the Fighting 103 Jolly Rogers, and this is one of the models I've built of that aircraft. I was frocked to second class petty officer while I was there and re-enlisted. And I also received my first Navy Achievement Medal while I was in VF-103. I went on to Namtre Grudet Oceana where I taught F-14s and the GE F-110 engine to the fleet. I also got my bachelor's degree from Embry-Riddle while I was there. After that I went to VF-102, the Diamondbacks. This is one of our aircraft while, uh, that I built. And while I was there, 9-11 happened. Completely changed my career. This is what I call 10 shiny bullets. We were ready to go. And this is the command on the flight deck going over. And this is our flight schedule from the first night of the war. This right here is a arming lanyard from one of the bombs that we dropped. And here I am changing a Motoflow fuel pump off on one of the aircraft. Now I am in this photo somewhere, I can't tell you exactly, but that was on the Roosevelt. I'm also in the E on OEF here. We won Battle E that year, it was Battle Efficiency Award. I also became Sailor of the Quarter. We quickly transitioned to the Super Hornet and became Strike Fighter Squadron 102 out of NES Lemoore. I was a line supervisor while I was there, and I also made chief while I was in VFA 102. This is my charge book, and this is one of the awards that I had gotten along the way. I went back to CNAT U Oceana, and I taught Super Hornets and the F414 engine to the fleet. This is me in my dress whites for one of the ceremonies we had while I was at uh, CNAT U, and this is me in my dress blues. I went on to VFA 32, the Swordsman, where they flew the Super Hornet. Here's a model that I've built of that aircraft. And I also had a smaller one, and here's that one. My retirement flag was actually flown in Aircraft 100 from VFA 32. These are all the E7s and aboves in the command. And this is me on board the ship. This is outside of our ready room. And this is my workstation. This is where I did most of my work while I was on the ship. Now you'll notice behind me here is the Rock of Gibraltar. And this is a photo going through the Straits of Messina headed toward Naples, Italy. This is Pompeii, Great Liberty, Great Liberty port right there. And on top of Mount Vesuvius overlooking Naples, Italy. Made it to the Cannes Film Festival, what a blast that was. And we also pulled shore patrol that night. The people in Cannes were just excellent to us. I did a little volunteer cooking on board the ship for the crew. And we also made some chiefs. All three of them wearing the hats are new chief recruits. Now I didn't know this photo was taken, but this is at one of our ceremonies that we had. Uh, good times. It was actually a retirement of one of our fellow chiefs, and I got to speak and send them ashore for the last time. So that was kind of cool. This is me and Ernie. Um, I got my command senior chief badge on. And this is me doing the command senior chief job on board the ship. You can tell I'm working really hard here. Uh, I got to fly in this little airplane. This is one of my models of it. But uh, this is my pilot. He was a 3,000 hour F-18 pilot. He was a really good stick. I only got a couple of photos from that flight because the rest of them were all of my boots. It's kind of hard taking pictures when you're pulling G's. So anyway, that's pretty much my career. So thanks for watching guys. And you know, that really does make me Old Navy. Take care. Bye.